Hey, English 94, welcome to week number five. Let's get started. It's Tuesday, February 14th, so happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I so appreciate all of you that are sticking with us in the class. I know last week was probably a lot of work with the peer review, that last new thing that we are doing. And so I'm just happy that those of you that were able to post were. And if you haven't yet posted last week's material, please go ahead and do so. With that said, we're moving on to week five. And the first thing that we always do is take a look at our calendar. So in week five, we're going to read chapters 10 through 12. We're going to read Persepolis the Veil, which is an excerpt from a graphic novel, kind of like a comic book. Um, that is going to get us ready for thinking about how we fit into cultures, cultural norms, who makes the rules, and then how we adjust to or choose not to adjust to those rules. We're going to watch two videos. They are both entitled What It Means to Be an American. And they come at it from a couple of different angles. Um, so I want you to kind of ponder that question because that is the question that we're going to write about in paper number two. Um, so your paper number two is assignment is available to you. You'll see the link to the assignment here on your calendar, also in the discussion board. And of course, you have the link to write the assignment in your Google folder. And the last thing we're going to do this week, of course, is discussion board number five. So let's take a look at those things. Here is our week five discussion board. And just like I said, we're doing chapters 10 through 12. You'll see you also have the links to listen to the audiobooks if you would prefer to kind of follow along as you're reading. There's a link to the graphic novel that I mentioned. There's also a video that's optional about how to read a graphic novel if you haven't read a comic book before. It's a little bit different than text. You really have to pay attention to what's happening in the pictures. But that's also kind of what makes it cool. All right, so there's that. Um, and then we have free writing example videos, because this is what I'm kind of asking you to do in your first or your second paper. This is the link to the actual paper here and the videos that you need to watch in order to write the paper. So as always, everything that you need is housed right here in the discussion board. The other thing that you have to do is the actual discussion board, right? So I know some of you have fallen a little bit behind on doing these, but it's the same thing for the next couple of weeks. We're just moving further along in that book. So we're up to chapters 10 through 12. So you'll find a main idea in there and tell me about it, a vocabulary word or term or phrase you think is interesting and define it for me. One question you have about what you read. And in this one, right, for this one, I really want you to, for number four, do that explain reading strategy. Uh, I want you to find one thing similar between the main character star and the hate you give and the main character in the graphic novel Persephone's Marjane, which you're going to read in that excerpt. So that's what we're doing in the discussion board this week. I also just want to kind of show you where the materials are located to be able to write paper to. So I'm clicking in our student Google folders link. As always, find your name. So I'm clicking on my folder up here in pink. You'll say you now have paper number two. What does it mean to be an American? As always, when you open your paper, all you have to do is click in and begin writing. And there will be instructions to the side, which are the same thing that are on your assignment sheet, just as reminders as you go along. All right, and that's it for week five. If you still haven't had a conference with me, there's still a sign up link. You can still come in, we can talk. Some of you I feel are getting a little lost in cyberspace and I really hate that. So whether you missed one or never signed up for one in the first place, they're still available to you. So go ahead and pick a time, meet me here in Zoom and we will talk about what's going on in your class. For the rest of you, I hope you have an awesome Valentine's Day and see you in cyberspace. Bye.